rejection. So if you don't hey, feel what's the up, same y'all? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy KJ right now. Um, basically, as y'all can see right here on my screen, um, I decided to do a reaction video. So this is how I'm gonna start doing them. Um, other than that, it's gonna be on my phone. So this is gonna be the reaction video of um, Damo Wilson, who's one of my cool, 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 cool. She lives in Arizona. I live in Vegas. I'm often in Arizona because I went to school in Arizona. Anyway, let's get to the video. It's about the uh, genius um, video of uh, feelings. All right, let's get to it. Way about me, then baby, we go. I'm a this for another dude. <laughs> It just makes me feel like I'm just that bitch. Like even when I'm like wow. got a bonnet on or like looking for me. You know, I want like, y'all to do me a favor. Wow, I've been with people before that just. I want y'all to like, um did not like. Leave down below in the comment box who you guys think that they're talking about. I want y'all to tell me if y'all think it's Lou. If y'all think it's another man, who do you guys think Damo Wilson is talking about? Me, when I wasn't, okay. like, at my peak. So I feel like he he's showing qualities that's like, wow, this could be something. That's what's up. I catch myself sitting by the phone, waiting for you to just hit my line. Day and night you stay on my mind and I'm feeding it for you like all the time. I sit by the phone, I wait on your message. Wow. You that important That's to deep. me. So I just feel like. Nah, I've done like, that a time or two you know, on a shorty. You know. You know. I ain't got the guts to tell you how I feel, baby. I don't want to look dumb. So I'm cool with just being friends with you. <laughs> even if I know you're the one. Even though he's told me, like, yeah, I'm feeling. It's exactly about Lou. You can't tell me no different, Joe. You can't tell me no different, Joe. All right, let's go on with this. You, you know, I really don't have the guts guts to tell him directly. Like, I'm trying to hide your babies. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like she like them cute, light skinned lot. guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, she says she's like, open minded, oh, but everybody got a type. Never mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't know. It's not mutual. And I'm like looking stupid, and then I got to lie. Like, I ain't like you anyway. You with your bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? When dudes don't get a number or they try to hit on a girl or they he gets rejected, he's like, I ain't like your ugly ass. And I feel like that's. I don't want to be that person. Because you're so special, treat me like a queen. We can hang out all day, still get mad when you leave. I've been hurt in the past, right. don't know who to believe. But the way that I'm feeling is you and it's me. Because I know your heart and I know your mind. The way you look at me, you so fucking fine. I think... Okay, I want to say this. Now, I don't know Lou. I'm from New York, too. And um, I guess it could depend on the individual. But... It's been stories going on around the internet circling pertaining to this young man, Lou Valentino. Yo no sé qué pasó con él, pero hay muchas mujeres tienen un problema con él. So a lot of people, a lot of women have been having problems with him. Like he's just trying to come up and he'll play a person. I don't know. I wouldn't mind, you know, uh, vibing with him or interviewing him or um what's the word i wouldn't mind um collabing with him but we'll see let's see let's see what else she says i think what makes this person so fine this grown-ass man so fine is the fact the way he comes off like damn being assertive you know what the fuck you talking about you lifting me up my little ass you know i just so she fun. Like, the, I'm not used to facial. I'm like the beard, the fucking cleanliness. You shower. You know, you got that stigma on men. Like people think, oh, men don't shower. You shower every day. You're uh, fine for that. Like, like, that's attractive. And all I want to do is make you mind, but we can stay friends and just take our time. <laughs> I got feelings for you that 
I cannot explain hey. it. I get butterflies every time you say my name. And when I am around you, you take away the pain. And, you know, some people, you will tell them what you've been through and they'll do worse to you. Right. So I told him what I went through. I've done that before, too. God damn. Was Let's this a confession session or a reaction video? Just... <laughs> Oh, shit, never mind. Let's hope that don't happen after this interview. I just want to know if you love me all the same. And I feel like I decided to smooth it out a little bit in the crust, give a little, uh. I want you guys to tell me your experiences down below. Have you ever, oh, yo, I'm going to say this for another video, but I want to point on this. Have you guys ever, 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 ever had a person you were interested in, but you never necessarily met them in person, but virtually over the net or over the phone. How was y'all vibes? What was your situation? Did y'all meet up and did it go further? And if it did, did it last? Let me know below in the comments, all right? It's because <laughs> I feel like I'm like, Oh, this is what I want from you. And of course, I'm more vulnerable. I'm like, I got feelings for you that I cannot explain. And I can't explain it because it wasn't supposed to happen. We're literally just supposed to be friends. And, you know. You make it hard to breathe when you walk right past me. Y'all could be your girl. Like, you got to do is ask me. My message to people who oh, are afraid easy. to shoot their shot and make the first move. Don't do it. <laughs> I like him. I've shot my shot a couple of no. times. But I feel like and Domo rejected me where she just football. didn't answer. I don't know yeah. if she like trans like, men or not. Uh, not really sure. I don't know. Play it back. But I'm dominant too. Friends, so flirt a little we'll bit, touch see. the eyes. Do that. Never Ooh. ever born because you always can me laughing. I'm so glad he's not like perfect. Cause perfect is boring, right? You know, so he he be cracking jokes. He be like trying to trick me all the time. It's like look, it's like a little kid. Like it's not like. In love, but it's, it's cute. He's annoying. Let's fly to Dubai, baby. We can make it happen. I've never been to Dubai, but I would love to go to Dubai because, first of all, there's a fine group of people over there. If this don't work out with him, when I come over there, y'all, no ring. I love when you gas me yeah. up. No, that's what you ask me. Yep. He'd be like, damn, you fine. Damn, you so beautiful. Damn, you this. I'd be like, girl. I mean, <laughs> I'd be like, I mean, thank you. I'm all right. Like, but. My booty is so small. It makes me sad. And people keep saying, just do squats. But he like asses me up. Like he be like, you got a little something back there. You got a little poke. I'll be like, thanks. But we, we know the truth. You know, I'm a pancake. I ain't never got a pull in my wallet because you pay you a real ass man. I don't care what they say. And you treat me like a lady, even though you know my past. We can get through whatever, all the good and all the bad. Fuck the past. So I know she been hurt. Like, do you guys think she's really bisexual? She says she is. Or do you think she's still hurt from the Chrissy situation? Let me know below. I think, I don't know. You know, we all got skeletons, you know what I'm saying? We all got skeletons. If she says she is, then she is. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think below. Royal gang. I'm your last little baby. Don't give a fuck about what you had, little baby. And now your ex is steady tripping on you because you with the shits. But you don't give a fuck what it was or what it is. You a boss ass nigga and I love it, I admit. And when I'm feeling insecure, you make me feel like I'm the shit. Damn. When I say I don't give she a fuck about what you had, verbiage. I don't give a fuck about what was before me. Like, that's so irrelevant. Now your ex is with the shits. Like, your ex is keep, like, move around. If it wasn't during, what do I care for? That's true. I'm trying to protect my heart. Because I don't want to fall too fast. But the way that you care and you play your part. I pray to God that we last, cause yeah, I've been hurt in the past and my trust is so off, but your patience for me is amazing. I'll be wanting to cry and just telling you off, but you sit there, baby, and you take it. Hey. Lately, um, regarding our friendship and stuff like that, we've been having a lot of drama and I've been like so stressed and just be wanting to cuss him the fuck out. Like, nigga, what the fuck? It's too early for this shit. But he's so patient. He's like, we're going to get through this. You know, everything's good. Relax, calm, do meditation. I feel like she like, don't so, like, She just so cancers are very but open and vulnerable. Really but I'm saying, like in this time, in this, you see people's true colors when you go through stuff. And right now we're going through stuff, and he's been 
very fucking patient. I appreciate that. I ain't never felt a yeah, love like this. Yeah, we gonna end this right here, y'all. I ain't y'all. never felt a trust like this. We don't want it to be too lengthy. Don't talk, motherfuckers gonna walk. I ain't never given so a fuck let me, like this. So let me, let me know what's going on and crazy. let me know what y'all that, think about so everything. Hate. Don't forget Everybody the thumbs up. Fun. Turn on your post notification, and then I will give y'all a shout out. Let's and get this video to 